Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the recording schedule on the Dawa NVR. Right, so I want to go into the main menu. You'll need to put in your password. This is the software NVR 4.0. I go to storage. Right, on the left hand side, it says basic. Now it says hard drive full. What do you want the software to do once the hard drive is full. Now, in most cases, you want it to overwrite. So that means it's going to write over footage that was older. Right, now over here, it says schedule. Now, mine has already been set up and I'm going to go through this with you. The first thing is the channel. Do you want to set up a different recording schedule for different channels or do you want all the channels to have the same recording schedule? The first thing I'm going to do is just say D1. Now it says pre-record. You can set how long it must start recording prior to the event. So the default is four seconds. And over here, it's giving you the different options of the different types of recording. Regular means it records constantly, no stop. It doesn't matter if there's motion. It doesn't matter if there's an alarm. It just records no matter what. It's like just pressing the record button and leaving it on. The next one is MD, which stands for motion detection. Notice it's in yellow. Already here, I have motion detection for all these days. Then I have alarm recording, which is in red. There's the red stripe. And then you've got motion detection and alarm. And then you've got IVS. That is if you've set certain rules, maybe people counting, trip wires, then you can enable the intelligent video surveillance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just default everything. And you can see the default is regular recording on all all the time from zero hours to 2400 hours this is in military time now most people do not have it like this because then you do not know if there was movement so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it just for motion detection so I'm going to check the motion detection box and then I'm going to click here where it says all now you can see that it's linked all of these Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and I'm going to highlight by just tapping on the corner here and then sliding my mouse all the way along. So what I've done now is I've now made all the days motion detection. However, it still has the regular recording. So to remove that, I now check the regular box and I click here and you can see that I've disabled regular recording. So this means that Sunday to Saturday, all the days of the week, it's now motion detection 24 hours a day, now this is only on channel one. Now if I go to channel two, notice that that's still on the regular default setting. So what I need to do now is copy channel one to channel two. So what I can do is now I can say D1 and then I can say copy and now it's asking me which of the other channels I can copy it to. I can copy it to all of them or I can just select specific channels that I want to copy it to. Now I've applied it and you'll see that D2 is now the same as D1. Right, so that is how you set up the motion detection recording. If you want to do the alarm recording, you follow the same process. I will now check the alarm box. I can link all the days together. If you only want the alarm on certain days, say for example, you only want the alarm on a weekend. So I can say Sunday the whole day and then possibly Saturday the whole day and then maybe just after hours. So I can link all of them and then I can say say from about 6.30 when everyone's gone home from work, maybe this is in an office, and then maybe in the morning, I can say it's still on from 12 o'clock midnight all the way to about six o'clock in the morning. So what I've done now is I've set an alarm set up that allows alarm recording on Sunday, on Saturday, and then after working hours. For example, from 6 o'clock to 6 p.m., from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., it won't record any alarm footage. Maybe you've got some alarm sensors that are also connected to your NVR. Right, so that is how you set up the scheduling on the Dower NVR. Right, and you can also set up your IVS. You can also, if you want, just motion detection and alarm, well, then you will just uh, click it like that. And you can see that now I'm only selecting motion detection and alarm. And then don't forget to apply. If you don't apply, it won't work. And then just remember that you need to copy it to other channels if you want it to be true for the other channels as well. Right, so thanks for watching and cheers.